I'm going to try and see how well I can get this done. Joining us this morning, the recipients of Guardian Life's top performing boy and a girl in the inaugural sitting of the primary exit profile. We'll call it Pep. I'm talking about none other than Rachel Gammon and Dominic Hazley. Dominic Rachel said hello, so you have to say hello, hello. to him. Okay, good then. Right, so Rachel is a talker. Dominic is a little more shy and reserved. So um, we're going to have a word with you both this morning. First of all, congratulations to both of you on your, um, on your performance. How does it feel? Dominic, I'm going to start with you. We usually go ladies first, but since you're playing shy on me, I'm going <laughs> to put it out of you. How did it feel, first of all, to do so well in PEP and then to win this award from Guardian? I was very happy. Yeah. It kind of surprised me. Surprised you? How so? I didn't think that my average was that high. What was your average? 361.8. Okay. That's on air to me. No? Not high? Okay. How was Pep for you? Um, it was kind of hard. I had to study a lot. Well, that's, that's how it goes. Right, Miss Rich? Yes. Well, a lot of discipline. For, for me, I had to discipline myself a lot because I'm the kind of person that wouldn't sit down and study too often. I learned with visuals, so if I had to read books, it was very annoying. Mm -hmm. So um, how did you get around that? Well, my extra teacher, he helped me get into reading from books. Mm -hmm. He made it easier for me to study from books. Okay. So now are you a reader? Yeah, I, I've always liked books reading, just not for studying. Yeah, gotcha. I understand that. My daughter is the same way. So how much time did you have to put in, Dominic, like to study? And did you get a chance to do um, like any extracurricular activities or was it just all about schoolwork? For well, I still did guitar. You do guitar, so you're a musician as well. Oh, see, I'm learning more about you. So how much time did you have for guitar while you were studying for Pep? Still had well, quite a bit I of went time? to guitar after school and then I came home and studied. So you came home. And how many hours a day would you study? Like two hours. Okay. So you went to school, you did your guitar, you came home two hours, book, and then TV? Actually, I did TV for an hour, then I studied. So good. So you had some balance there. That's fantastic. What was your best subject? What was the subject you loved the most? Well, I like math, but I actually did better in ability. Is that right? Okay, so they said abilities was going to be harder, but you actually did better there. Um, what about you, Rachel? Well, science and math, I got an equal grade for those, and those just so happen to be my favorite subjects, okay. even though I used to be weak in math. Okay, so, so, so you're not a reader, but you did well in science. I know, it's confusing. I learned as visuals, and my science book had a lot of diagrams. Yeah. So you had to learn like the structure of the nose and the structure of the ear and the... No, what did no. You have more to environmental things, oh, well, yeah, I said which I actually personally find interest in. Okay, good. So, well, let me take it from there then. What do you want to be when you grow up? A neurosurgeon. A neurosurgeon? Yes. Wow. I want to operate on people's nerves, especially their brain. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not surprised. <laughs> what about you, Sir Dom? What do you want to do? I want to, to be a lawyer. Oh, you do? Okay. You know lawyers talk a lot, right? <laughs> they have to talk a lot. When they have to. I mean, to defend cases and so on, but otherwise. Um, so you're heading into high school. You're 12 years old. Mm -hmm. I look at 12. How old are you? Right? 11. You're 11. What are you looking forward to the most heading into camp here? Probably the extracurricular activities. Not the schoolwork? No. And what extracurricular activities would you be interested in going into camp? Mm, basketball, tennis, maybe robotics. Robotics is always um, fantastic. You look like you would like robotics too. I want to do robotics and the environmental club. Okay. And chess. Those are my favorite things to do. Okay. But is that is that what you're most looking forward to? The high school experience is different no. from prep school? For so me, for me, it's going to be meeting the teachers and getting to know a new type of learning. Mm -hmm. 
also making new friends because right. I didn't have money in my last school. Right. So you 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 went to Hope Field. Yes. Are any of your other friends coming to campaign from Hope Field? Yes, a few of them. Okay, so that would be good. And then you'll make some more new friends from there. Yes, I already did. Okay. Did summer school. Excellent. So you did summer school. What about you, Dominic? Did I you... went to summer school. Okay. Well. So do you have any friends coming from your old school? Yeah. And you went to Pizza and Paul. Okay, so you guys will have some company heading into a new environment and you're excited. What about um, young kids who may be on holidays now who are watching and they're nervous to head into this new experience? Would you guys have any advice for them? Well, I got bullied for my lisp during summer school. You got what? I have a lisp, uh -huh. so when, if anyone bullies you, if you do have a lisp, just ignore them because they're jealous that you, they don't have such a cool lisp. Lisps are awesome. You rock. Just you jealous. rock. So you have a lisp. Yes. No, I want you guys to understand this, right? Because we're laughing at it and, it, and she's very entertaining, obviously. <laughs> but this is a fantastic lesson to take from this interview that she's telling young people and that adults need to be aware of. So what she's saying is she has a lisp, and there are people who may want to make fun of her for her lisp, but she doesn't care because she thinks her lisp is cool. We love that. I love that because you're already going in with a mindset of, of conquer. What is your advice, sir, to young folks who are heading into, into high school, whether it's camping or anywhere else? Heading into high school? Mm -hmm. What would you say to young people who are you watching? doing them? PEP? No, who are heading to, like, just past PEP. And just like you, they're going into high school in September. What would you say to them? Just be yourself. Just be yourself. See? Easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. You guys did well. Guardian Group, top pep boy, top girl. By the way, I want to tell you that the Guardian Group Foundation, um, these guys have gotten a million dollars each to assist in financing five years of their secondary education. And the Guardian Group has dispersed more than $5.5 million in grants, bursaries, book vouchers, and book supplies that were awarded to students. Um, not only Dominic and Rachel, but 23 other outstanding scholars who were honored at the Foundation's annual scholarship grant award ceremony on the 23rd of July. We say kudos to you, President of uh, the Guardian Group, Sir Eric Hosin, and um, congratulations to your organization on the fantastic work that they continue to do. Congratulations, guys. We wish you all the very best as you head into a new phase of your lives. And we know you're going to do well. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you. Thank your you. lisp is really very cool. I know. Dominic, good to meet you. Okay. Good to meet you too. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Guardian Life's top performing boy and girl.